everyone. Good morning, let's have some fun. Goodbye to the moon. Hello to the sun. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning and hello, dear Storytime families and friends. My name is Kim and I work at the Stillwater Public Library in Stillwater, Minnesota. And today's Storytime is being brought to you from the library's Story Kitchen. Many of you know that we have a little baby bear puppet that we love to play pretend with each week for story time. And I've been pretending that he has his own bakery in the story kitchen and is making a recipe each week to go along with whatever our story or song or whatever it is that we are doing. So let's check in on him and see what recipe we're going to share today. Hey Peter, what do you have today? Oh, like, were you sleeping again? You were. Well, I think we saw on the screen that you are making bears jam paw pies. Bears jam pot pies. So let's see. Now a pie, I know a pie is big, but what is a paw pie? Have you heard of a paw pie before? It, so it's like a hand pie. I, sometimes people do make something called hand pies. It's like a little pie that you could just pick up in your hand and eat. And so is this like, it's like a hand pie, but because you have paws, you're calling them paw pies. Okay, well, now how are you making them? You have some dough, that uh, some pie crust dough that you rolled out for the, and cut out for the bottom part, right? And then what you'll, you'll put some, some jam in. You have, I, I noticed you have two different kinds of jam here. There's raspberry, and is, is that apricot? Yep, oh, delicious. And let's see, and so after you put the jam there, then we'll put the top part of the pie on. Is that right? And let's see, I noticed there's this, what is that? Can you see? It looks like a paw print. Are you pressing that on the top of the pie? Do you think it'll show up? You're not sure, but maybe. So there's a little indentation that looks like a paw print to go on the top of the pie. And then what, what is this butter here for? I notice you have a little tiny pastry brush. And so you're gonna melt the butter, right? And then you'll dip the pastry brush and first you'll do the bottom and then put the jam in and put the top and you'll brush that too. But what else, we have to do something around the edge. You have to crimp around the edge with, um, with a little fork, right? Like really, really hard to keep the two sides together. Okay, well it looks like you're gonna be kind of busy here, baby bear, while we uh, have our story. So are you making these all by, all by yourself? Because it's baking, so you, you, can't, you can't use the oven, can you? So, so Big Bear has been helping you. Oh, Big Bear has been, Big Bear's been doing anything that needs the oven, right? Okay, so Big Bear is here and Big Bear is in the story too. This is a big day for Big Bear, isn't it? Yeah. So where where is Big Bear? You, you don't know? We should look. Okay, we'll look for Big Bear. All right, well, why don't you work on the jam part? Because you can spoon the jam part. And then after we've found Big Bear, we'll send him over to help you. Okay? All right. Why don't you say goodbye to the kids? All right. And they're going to look for Big Bear. Do you guys see any signs of Big Bear, everybody? Do you see any paw prints? You do? Paw prints? Has Big Bear been walking on the ceiling? Oh my goodness! Big Bear has been walking all over the ceiling. Oh, you guys. 
Do you see him peeking over the top of the puppet theater, looking at you? Oh, and it looks like there's a pretend river where Big Bear is. And that is just perfect because the book we are going to share together is called Bear Came Along. And there is a big bear and there is a river. Hey, big bear, baby bear needs help with the pies. All right. Well, when we look at this book, I'm going to hold it so you can see. You'll notice there's a little silver medal on it. This was a Caldecott honor book the year that it came out, which just means that a whole lot of teachers and librarians uh, voted on this book as being one of the one of the very special books that year, and that the illustrations were so wonderful and so important to telling the story. This book is written by Richard T. Morris, and the illustrator is Lei Wynn Pham. It's published by Little Brown, and we're so grateful to be able to share it together today. When we look at the book, we've been looking at the dust jackets some, which is this little jacket that's on the outside of, not all books, but on the outside of many hardcover books. And Lei Wynn Pham did some amazing things with her illustrations. She even, on the spine of the book, there's pictures of the animals that will be in this story. And on the back, we can see little ideas and little hints of what animals will be in this story as well. Now, one thing we've talked about sometimes is when we take the dust jacket off, often the picture underneath is exactly like the picture on the dust jacket. But sometimes that is not the case. And today, with this book, that is not the case because we can see that here we see a whole bunch of trees and the forest and just a little bit of river, but look at all this river. I think Bear has maybe gotten into that river. I'm gonna take off the dust jacket and we'll set our book here. And I'm just gonna open the very front cover because we've also been talking a lot about end papers, which are these papers at the very beginning and end. Sometimes they're just a plain color, and sometimes that plain color makes you feel a certain way or helps introduce you to the story. Sometimes they're illustrated end papers, and that's the case here. The Win Fam has illustrated this amazing map of the river flowing through the countryside. And if we look very closely here, we can see Bear just coming out of the cave. Hmm, I think this must be early in the year before everything has turned green. Let's find out what happens in this story. Bear came along by Richard T. Morris, illustrated by Lewin Pham, published by Little Brown. Once there was a river that flowed night and day, but it didn't know it was a river until Bear came along. Bear was just being curious. When he realized what the river could do, but he didn't know he was on an adventure 
until Froggy hopped on. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend. But she didn't know how many she had. Until the turtles showed up. The turtles tried to warn them about the things that could go wrong. But they didn't know how to enjoy the ride. Until Beaver climbed aboard. Beaver was born to Captain. He knew exactly where to go. But he didn't know about the detours until Beaver's coming next. The raccoons dropped in. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead. But they didn't know they had to be careful. Until they crashed into Duck. Uh? Duck was so content being right where she was. But she didn't know there was a world to see. Until... Get all those feet. Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to Turtles. Turtles held on to Beaver. Beaver held on to Raccoons. Raccoons held on to Duck. Oh, what a ride. So many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together. Until... The river came along. All these other animals coming out to investigate. I wonder if they'll make friends with them too. And that is the end of the story. But there is a little note from the author who wrote the words and from the artist, the illustrator who made the pictures, is talking about how they both felt that this book was just like us all in the world. 
A lot of us are so different from each other, but we can hop on together and have an adventure together and share it and enjoy the ride. And when we go to the last back end paper, look at this. All of that greenery and so many animals in the pictures for you to look at up close. And here was our waterfall and there's our little group of animals, but there's some others coming to visit too. I see a little fawn and a moose and some birds. And so I bet there'll be some more friends coming to join them soon. I'm gonna close the book and there's the back side and another whole nother vision of those animals. And you can see why everybody was so excited about the beautiful illustrations and that beautiful story when it came out. So we had better go and check on the snail with the mail and see what our letter is for today. So mail snail, come on out here, please. Oh, yep. Can, can you say hi to everybody? Yeah, it's good to see you again this week. Yeah, the week goes so quickly, doesn't it? I know. So I see that you have our letter. Is it all right if I take it out? Okay. Um, this is our letter of the day to Baby Bear and Storytime Friends. And it's from the letter of the day headquarters. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it ready to show to Baby Bear. So why don't you say goodbye to everybody? All right, thank you for thank you for delivering that. See you see you soon. All right. Well, I'm going to open up our letter and see what it is. Last week was the letter Q, and we're going through the alphabet. So after Q in the alphabet comes the letter R. I'm going to put it here. There's the big capital uppercase letter R and the little lowercase letter R right there. Hmm, when you look at them, do they look very much the same? They don't. I, I don't see many similarities. I mean, they both have a straight back part here and this is kind of curvy, but other than that, they look fairly different. So let's draw them with our magic finger. You can hold it out. And we're gonna go down and down and down. The big capital uppercase letter R. Let's do it again. Down, around, and down. And now we'll do the lowercase r. Down, push up, and over. Let's do it again. Down, push up, and over. The little lowercase r. And this one is green today, and this one is orange, isn't it? Well, we're going to uh, show it to Baby Bear in just a moment, but first we'll sing the song, the alphabet song that we sing each week when I remember. And here is our alphabet chart. And when we get to letter R, we'll say yay. And here R is for ring, ring. Do you hear that R at the beginning? All right, A, B, C, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, yay! S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Nice work, everyone. I'm gonna go check in with Baby Bear and see if he brought a stuffy for the letter R. He seems to know ahead of time what it's gonna be. So Baby Bear, come on out here, please. Yeah, are you, are you awake? I know you keep falling asleep, but um, we brought the letter of the day from Male Snail, letter R. Were you aware of that? You knew that was what it was gonna be, okay. So did you bring a stuffy today? Two stuffies. Two stuffies that start with the letter R. Okay, will you get the first one, please? Oh. What is it? Raccoon. 
It's a raccoon. Is this like one of the raccoons from our story? There were two raccoons in that, weren't there? There were. Let's, why don't you hold it, baby bear, and we'll do R is for raccoon. R is for raccoon. All right. And you know, I'm going to put the raccoon down just for a moment here because you said you have another stuffy friend. Oh. What is this? Hmm. You know what? They might be thinking of this animal's name, which is Sven, but Sven is a reindeer reindeer and R is for reindeer. R is for reindeer. It is. Well, and thank you for bringing Sven. I'm going to, I, I noticed again there's sticky stuff from lunch, so I'm going to keep the stuffies, but I did want to mention that uh, next week, you know, Miss Elisa is going to be sharing the stories through the computer, and she has a raccoon named Ruby. Are you good friends with Ruby? You are very good friends with Ruby the raccoon. And Miss Angie and I are good friends with Miss Elisa too, aren't we? Yeah, so I'm sure Ruby will be excited that you brought a raccoon for letter R. Okay. All right. So let's check in on what you have here. Your Popeyes. Oh, and I see you have a little glass of milk. And, oh, let's lift this up so the kids can see. A little round pie. And I, there is kind of a paw print on it, but it's, it's, hard, it's hard to see. But you'll be able to just pick that up and, and eat it, right? For a paw pie. And so now, who are those? Th those, are, those are for Big Bear when Big Bear gets back, um, back again. From the from the river adventure okay well thanks so much for showing us those and we'll have the recipes again on the library's website like we have with links to them in case anyone wants to try making a bear jam Popeye all right why don't you say goodbye to the kids okay oh yeah blow kisses and yes they'll clap for you I'm sure yeah. okay all right I'm gonna go see butterfly we will sing our goodbye song with the Bye Bye Butterfly. And get him out here, get her out here, and make my hands into a butterfly. And I'll sing to you and you can sing back to me. Here we go. Bye Bye Butterfly, Bye Bye Butterfly. Whoop. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Turn it around. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Okay, gorilla. So long, King Kong. So long, King Kong. Kangaroo, toodaloo, kangaroo. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Out the door, dinosaur. Out the door, dinosaur. Gotta go, buffalo. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. See you soon, raccoon. Here's a hug, ladybug. Here's a hug, ladybug. Take care, baby bear. Take care, baby bear. Let's do it again with Big Bear. Take care, Big Bear. Take care, Big Bear. That's the end, my friend. That's the end, my friend. And thank you so much. Give yourselves a hand. We did it. All right. Thank you, friends, for spending this time together. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. I miss you.